All right, uh, let's take a look at example 1-7. Uh, so 1 7 is essentially an example problem uh, motivated by um, your thermodynamics 1 course and uh, so when I took thermo 1 uh, essentially what I remember most is uh, interpolating in uh, tabulated data uh, specifically the steam tables and so here we have a scenario where uh, we have this data so this is corresponding to uh, the molar volume um, versus temperature uh, of steam at a pressure of 40 bars and so given this tabulated data, we'd like to estimate the temperature where we have a molar volume of 0.1 uh, meters cubed per kilogram, which should be somewhere in between uh, these two points. Okay, so I've uh, written those data points down because I won't be able to have that up uh, when we scroll over to MATLAB. And then the reading, it goes through the scenario of you know, essentially deriving our expression for uh, linear interpolation by assuming that all of those points are collinear. Uh, and we're given a, a final answer. Okay, uh, so you can look at the problem statement as is, uh, but I'm going to flip over to MATLAB. I'll have this equation up uh, and we'll uh, attempt to solve it. Okay, okay uh, here I am uh, back over in MATLAB. Uh, and first thing is, uh, I have it set up so I can still see my uh, problem down here. Uh, but here's my screen from uh, the last example problem we just solved. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear my variables before I start this problem and then clear my uh, command window. Uh, so great. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the data uh, from the table and I'm going to store it to variables. Uh, and I can store it to variables using this name um, or using T and V. It uh, doesn't really matter all that much. Okay. But when I think about what I'm trying to do is I had, uh, tabulated data where first column was temperature, second was volume, and I want to solve for the T at a given V. Okay, So in this problem, since I'm going to specify a value of V that I want to estimate the temperature uh, at, um, I could think about V as being my X variable. Okay, Where uh, in that table, X1 would be the first row, uh, X3 would be the last, X2 would be the X that I'm trying to estimate uh, my value of Y at. And so then T would be my Y, uh, where again, uh, first row is Y1, last row is Y3, and y2 is the value I'm going to try and estimate. Okay, so if I stick with uh, x's and y's just to make it simple, uh, in this case y1 was 600, y2, or I guess y3, uh, was equal to 650, uh, x1 was equal to 0 0.0989, y1 was equal to 0 0.1049, Okay, um, oh, I accidentally overwrote y1. So y1 was equal to 600. What I entered is y1 here should be um, x3. Okay. So I have uh, y1 and y3, that's x1, and that should be x3. Right? I just had to redefine y1 since I'd overwritten it. And now to interpolate, I just plug into this equation. Um, so y2 is going to be y3 minus y1 divided by x3 minus x1 times x2 minus x1 plus y1. Okay. Uh, undefined function uh, x2. Oh, that's because I need to tell it that I want to solve for uh, y when x is equal to 0 0.1. So if I press up to recall my command, I get 609.1167, uh, 609.17, right, in excellent agreement with uh, the answer we're provided with. Cool. Uh, if you want to tune me out right now, you can, uh, but since in the side note I mentioned interp1, which we'll discuss much later in the course, uh, let's go ahead and see how we could use interp1 and see if we get the same exact answer. Okay. So in order to use interp1, I'm going to need to create a vector of my y's. Okay, so this would be y1 and y3. A vector of my x's. This would be x1 and x3. Okay, and then uh, the built-in function is interp1. Okay, interp1 corresponds to one-dimensional interpolation. Uh, and by default, okay, and let's, let's be y2 we're solving for. Uh, by default, interp1 is going to use linear interpolation. So if I use interp1, 
uh, I want to interpolate uh, an x with respect to y, and the x value I want to look at is x2 is 0 0.1. Right? In doing so, I get 609.1167, exactly uh, the same answer. Okay, Excellent.